Hi there, sports fans. Welcome to the review of week 13 of the NFL. Let's do this. Rooster. Cat Hawk. Rooster. Cat Hawk, he's not a cow and he's not a hog. This sports bait with that Rooster catalog, he's not a cow and not a hog known sports bait with that rooster catalog. Sports bait, rooster catalog, sports bait, rooster catalog, rooster catalog, and this is sports bait. It may have been Thanksgiving, but the only thing that the Lions gave the cheese farts was a headache as they stuffed the Packers and doused them in gravy, farted to town. The Cowboys mashed the Raiders like they was potatoes, force-feeding them yams and offense. For it was nay a Black Thursday for the Raiders, who refused to shop early. Dallas 31, Land of Oak 24. It was quite the pilgrimage in Baltimore, but in the end the Ravens would feast on Rothless turkey burgers, Ball 22, Pit 20. Now on to Sunday games. The Puppy Dogs decided to forfeit common sense and rolled over and played dead, allowing the big cats of Ville Jacks to purr their way to victory. Jags 32, Brownie Ales who fell off shelves 28. In the Annapolis of Indy, the miniature horses kicked their way into a stable environment, titillating the titans of Dollywood in a 22-14 horseshoe hoedown. In the place where purple people play, the new head coach of the Bears brought Bears fans all to tears, deciding to go for a field goal on second down in overtime, instead of vying for better field position so that Robbie Gold could have a better shot at winning the game. What a poor decision. Minnesota Adrian Peterson's 23, Chicago Altown Jeffries 20 and OT. I'm dumbfounded. Somewhere in New Jersey, the New York Jersey Jets did what they do best and that is lose a professional NFL game, as the Dolphins jumped hoops around the aeroplanes in a 23-3 cancellation of cross-continental flights in the U.S. In the bird war of the American Eagle, Arizona's Carson Palmer committed too, too many cardinal sins, allowing... Foles and crew to crush the cards, 24-21 in Philly. In the lower mid-Atlantic, the Camelina Panthers refused to swashbuckle under the tuberculosis buccaneer pressure. Rather, they pranced, pounced, and prided in a 27-6 plunder. In Down in a city where a good football team used to play, the Tatesons let the lead slip away as the pretty boys Brady Bunch abercrombie their way to a late game win over a Houston team that's puttering out. Putter, putter. Pat Wright's 34, oil guzzling astronauts 31. In Buffalo, the wings was a wild, but the ones on the Falcons proved to be too majestic for the Bison Burgers. ATL 34, Bales 31 and OT. In Cisco, the Rams were gone, 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 as the gold diggers turned their horns into delicious Auntie Anne's pretzels. Cause their game was so soft. San Fran 23, Archdiocese 13. The skies in KC have been cloudy ever since the departure of the Sunshine Band as the Mile High Mad Men turned Arrowhead on its head. Barreling back to win 35-28. After a lightning show the previous week, 
It was only General Electric in San Diego, as the kitty cats dammed the rivers like they was beavers instead. Sin 17 SD 10. Prior to the start of the Sunday night game, both teams wanted to score the other team's points, but once the end zones was established, baby brother Eli defeated RG3 by a final score of 24 to 17. Yeah. In the Cyber Monday night game, Russell Wilson found some amazing deals online, on the offensive line, and the Seahawks D found some amazing plays on the defensive line, as the Seabirds breeze loudly past the Saints, a 34-7. What? There were no bye weeks this week in the NFL. That means every team played. Nobody had to not play. I know, it's cray-cray. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the scores from week 13. Join me next week, won't you? As we review the scores from week 14. Of the N-F-L. Have a great week, y'all. Titillating the titans of Dollywood in a 2014 foot to poop under the tuberculosis buccaneer pressure. Rather, they pounced, prided, and pranced. <laughs> Panthers refused to swashbuckle under the tuberculosis buccaneer pressure. Rather, they pranced, pounced, and prided into a 27-6 plunt into crap. And found some amazing deals online on the offensive line, and the Seahawks... <laughs>